In this lecture, let's learn what a dependency injection is and how to use dependency injection in Angular. But before that, let's first understand what a dependency is. So in our last lecture, we created this enroll service class. And we are using this enroll service class in our JavaScript component as well as in our Angular component. So for this JavaScript component and for this Angular component, this enroll service class is a dependency because we want to use this on enroll click method of this enroll service class in our JavaScript component as well as in our Angular component. So this enroll service provides us this method. And in order to use this method inside this Angular component as well as in JavaScript component, first we need to create an instance of this enroll service class. And then on that instance, we can call this on enroll clicked method. And that's why this enroll service class is a dependency for this Angular component, as well as it is also a dependency for this JavaScript component. Now here we are instantiating this enroll service class by our own. And in the last lecture, I told you that this is not a best programming practice. That's because here we are making this JavaScript component class and this Angular component class tightly coupled with this enroll service class. So instead of creating an instance of this enroll service class by our own, Angular offers us a great tool which will give us access to our services. And this tool is Angular's dependency injector. The dependency injector simply injects the dependency in this case, it will inject an instance of this enroll service class in our JavaScript component as well as in our Angular component. Okay, so in this way, we do not have to create an instance of this enroll service class by our own. That instance will be provided by Angular. Okay, so Angular will inject an instance of this enroll service class in this, you know, Angular component as well as in this JavaScript component. So what is dependency injection? Dependency injection is a technique in which a class receives its dependencies from external sources rather than creating them itself. Okay, so let's first go ahead and let's remove this line of code where we are instantiating this enroll service class. Okay, so let's remove it from JavaScript component as well as from Angular component. So now we don't have an instance of this enroll service class. That means we cannot call this on enroll click method without an instance of this enroll service class. So now we need to inform Angular that we need an instance of this enroll service class in our Angular component as well as in our JavaScript component. For that, what we need to do is we need to create a constructor for this JavaScript component class as well as for this Angular component class. So let's first go ahead and let's specify a constructor for this JavaScript component class. And as an argument for this constructor, let's create a parameter and let's call this parameter enroll service. Okay, and this enroll service is going to be of type enroll service. And let's also go ahead and let's use private keyword in front of this parameter so that Behind the scenes, a private property with this name will be created and that will be assigned with the value of this enroll service parameter. So here we are telling Angular that we need an instance of this enroll service class. So Angular will inject the instance of this enroll service class and it will assign it to this enroll service parameter. Okay. So now Angular knows what we want, but it doesn't know how to give us such an instance. For that, we need to provide this service. It simply means we tell Angular how to create this instance of this enroll service. Okay. And for that, inside this component decorator, we can use another property, which is providers. Okay. And to this, we assign an array. And inside this array, we can specify all the types which we want to be provided for this component. Currently for this JavaScript component, we only need one provider and that is this enroll service. So let's specify that here. Okay. And now we can use this enroll service 
which will be an instance of this enroll service class inside this on enroll method. So here let's say this dot enroll service. All right, so let's recap what we have done so far. In order to inject an instance of this enroll service class inside this JavaScript component class, first we created a constructor. Inside that constructor, we provided a private parameter and we specified its type as enroll service. So this was the first step. Then we specified this provider's property for this component decorator. And to this we assigned an array and inside this array, we specified the type which we want as a dependency. Okay, so inside this enroll service parameter, we will receive an instance of this enroll service class. And then we are using that instance to call this on enroll clicked method of this enroll service class. Let's go ahead and let's do the same thing for this Angular component. So let's quickly create a constructor here. Inside this constructor, let's specify a private parameter and let's call it enroll service. Okay, and this is going to be of type enroll service. Okay, let's use curly braces. Then let's specify the provider property for this component decorator. And this is going to be an array. And inside this array, let's specify the type which we want as a dependency. In this case, it is enroll service. And here, let's access this enroll service instance of this enroll service class using this keyword. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to our web page. And here, these enroll buttons should still be working. But now, Instead of creating an instance of this enroll service class by our own, Angular is injecting an instance of this in enroll service class inside this JavaScript component as well as inside this Angular component. And then we are making use of that instance. And this is called as dependency injection because here Angular is injecting the dependency of this JavaScript component as well as Angular component inside this JavaScript component class as well as inside this Angular component class. Alright, so this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.